Hi everyone. In this video, I'm gonna give you a quick uh, tour over the user interface of Replicat. We're gonna stuck here on the top, on the toolbar. If you go all the way to the left, you have the different menus where you can save and create new projects, avatars or environments. You have the window menu where you can open content windows, uh, go to the preference and some more advanced settings. You have the undo and redo icon. Uh, you have the transformation gizmo icons where you can change from translate to move things to rotate them or to a scale them. Uh, also, you can hide the gizmo or the UI and some more advanced information tools that we will see in future videos. If we go to the right side, we have the bookmarks, which if you press them, maybe too close, you will have preset cameras for the viewport, or you can create your own custom ones. You can change the speed of the camera uh, to navigate through Replicant. You have two performance icon. This will lower the graphic settings, so you will have a smoother experience while you're working with your character, your environment, you can at least go back to the uh, this quality option. Then you can hide any groom or head asset. Uh, for also better performance, you can override so many animations for your character, so you can test the different things uh, without going to the animation section. And you can freeze all the animations, as you can see, they cannot move anymore. So this is the top bar. There is a few settings that we will look in the future, but those are the basics. If we go to the bottom part here in the middle of section, you would see a set of uh, icons. Those are watch places. They are uh, tailor uh, made for a specific task, like creating the scenes, lighting, or the scripts, uh, mockups, animation. Everything is squished to be safe. Well, uh, you can change and rearrange anything as you please, but we have tailored this experience as we think is the best way. Uh, but uh, you can move things around and save them as default. So we will take a look at the workspace uh, in a future video. If we move to the left, you have the stack menu, which gives you quick access to create your easy stream mode or easy streaming mode, which are more esteemed by Imperium so for Replicant for very specific task. Mm, you can open your face and projects, create new projects, uh, everything in a simplify UI. You can switch to the extreme mode anytime. And you can access their different settings. If you don't want to have the labels from your icons, you can remove them, give a bit more space. And here on the right, you have your Replicant tokens for some of the tasks that you can perform within Replicant that will go as tokens and also see the connection established with the server. And with that, uh, we cover the basics of the UI for Replicant. In the future videos, we'll take a look at the different workspace, how to create avatar, scenes, animations, etc. Bye.